Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 25th, 2019. So, hey everyone, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. You're ready to crank up this week and get going again. We have an interesting setup this morning, which um, really is not that big a surprise uh, considering how much volatility came into the market on Friday. So let's see if we can get through this um, really quickly and kind of take a look at what the market is showing us, what the chart is showing us without any interpretation of direction. Let's just take a look at the technicals of the chart. So first off, let's take a look at the diamonds. Now the Dow has been kind of an interesting uh, chart to begin with. Um, last week, we failed a new high, making a lower high failure, um, actually bringing in a downtrend. And then last Thursday, we had this massive rally after the FOMC announced that they weren't going to raise interest rates. But unfortunately, we had that complete reversal then uh, Friday on global go growth concerns and really kind of confirming this lower high failure. So at this point, we have a, a pretty bearish looking uh, diamonds chart. Now, can we bounce back up off of that? We certainly can. And if we do bounce back up, watch this price resistance in here. What we've done is really increased uh, the technicality here of a downtrend beginning. So watch that close and expect um, considerably more volatility in the next few days ahead. Now, if we do fail, if we continue to drop down, remember we can find some support right there on that price. We could find even a stronger level of support if we move down into here. So is the world coming to, the, to an end? Well, probably not, but we do have a concern here and we should expect price action to be a bit more challenging uh, today and the next few days forward as we try to sort this out. Let's take a look at the SPY real quickly. SPY, much better situation than the Dow, but certainly a reason for concern. We had this area right in here of price resistance that we needed to deal with. And that big failure on Friday um, certainly should give us a bit of a pause here uh, this morning that that could continue uh, to to fail now the good thing here with the spy is that overall this resumed trend is still intact you know if we were to draw a line here and the reason I say resumed trend is because we were trending here we did fail break support we rallied back rallied back to a new high and then are pulling back right now. So if this continues to drop or continues to lower, my concern would be if we break down below this support, if we break down below that price support area, then we could certainly test lows down in here and we'll wanna watch that pretty closely. So right now, SPY much stronger than the diamonds technically, but we do have reason for concern. Let's take a look at the Qs now. Now the Qs is in a really good position technically. First, we have a nice upward trend here. Uh, and clearly we are continuing this trend where we test lower highs and, and um, or excuse me, higher lows and we make higher highs. Now the pullback on Friday certainly substantial but as you can see that's really nothing more than a pullback to test price support and trend so technically speaking the Q's are is the strongest index of them all right now and has the best potential of helping us um, avoid a major sell-off um, in the market 
So we'll want to watch this right in here and see if we can hold that support. If we get continued selling, if we really start to break this down, uptrend, um, moving down into this region, then we could have some problems throughout the, uh, throughout the market. So let's watch that closely. The Qs could find that support in there and continue to um, get support from the bulls to move it higher. Let's take a look at IWM, however. IWM is the one I would consider to be the weakest of the bunch. And so we have the diamonds um, and the IWM really showing weakness, lower high failures, um, those kind of things, downtrend in play on those two indexes. Um, and then the SPY showing um, concern, uh, significant concern, excuse me, con significant concern with the NASDAQ showing um, really uh, in an okay position. Now IWM, the reason I suggest it is the worst of the bunch is it actually failed this low, closing down below that level and um, heading lower. So IWM, could easily seek out the next level of price support, maybe down in here, um, pretty quickly. So we'll want to watch for that. Now, keep in mind, if we do rally off of this and hold in here, we're going to look for that downtrend to provide resistance in this chart until we can prove to break above that downtrend. So watch that closely. Now, let's take a look at the VIX. Now, the VIX is where... Um, well, we just have to be watching this carefully. Uh, keep in mind, we rallied nearly 21% on Friday um, in the VIX. That's a that's a extreme pop in volatility. So we need to expect that volatility to remain elevated for the next couple of days until that could maybe calm down. So taking a look at the VIX, you can see we popped above this resistance area here. And that's really not a problem if we don't hold it as support. If we were to hold this level of support and then see more selling come into play, we would watch that volatility or could see that volatility start to escalate pretty quickly. So watch that closely. We want to see that volatility slip right back down below here and hold below this area. And if we can't do that, that's where we really have the major concern coming into the market. Let's take a quick look at T2122, see if it provides us any clues here and if we take a look at T2122 you can see uh, on Friday we came right back down here to this bullish reversal zone now um, this morning currently the futures are pointing to a modestly lower open um, and actually they're increasing that just a little bit as the morning goes on but if we push down into this area, we're right down in into that uh, reversal zone where just that short-term oversold condition um, would suggest the opportunity of that potential pop back up. So watch that carefully. Now remember, we can bounce around. As you can see here, we can bounce around down in this area. But it's, it's not real common that we stay down here for a very long period of time. If you notice, most of the time we bounce down into this area and then come right back up off of that. So watch that close um, this morning's gap down we could um, quickly see those bulls try to step in and and buy things up just because we're short term um, oversold so watch that in here let's take a look at um, our economic calendar and our economic calendar doesn't have much on it today and in fact really nothing on it today to really move us around unless we had some kind of surprise from Fed speakers saying something today and um, that uh, that's already passed so I don't think um, anything uh, new come out there we do have a couple of uh, 
reports here, but nothing that I would expect to move the market and then some bond auctions that we'll want to kind of keep an eye on, but nothing here. In fact, we really don't have much until tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the housing starts number, and of course that can certainly move the market. So let's take a look on our um, earnings calendar, we have more than 70 companies reporting earnings today, and we'll want to pay attention to those this morning because um, obviously earnings can move a market around substantially. A couple earnings today um, that you might want to keep an eye on, um, Red Hat reports this morning. I don't know if that's going to move the market at all. There, just There's only a couple very notable um, reports this morning uh, or today and then WGO uh, might be another to pay attention to uh, but kind of a slow day for not notable earnings um, as well. So uh, we'll kind of be left to um, the volatility of the market um, to kind of choose which direction we're going to go and it could get a little bit volatile in the days forward so plan your risk carefully um, if, if you're a new trader if you're new to uh, new to trading this might be one of those times where you just stand aside a while just stand aside maybe do some paper trading uh, back off a little bit be careful not to over trade this market because that volatility could really swing us back and forth even intraday big big triple point type swings when we start looking at lower high failures we get that big rush of vol volatility in the market so watch that closely and just maybe back off a little bit be careful in your trading um, so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please 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 do me a favor click that subscribe button on YouTube also click that thumbs up button and then click that bell icon when um, when you click that subscribe button because that will make sure you get notified every time I put one of these videos out also folks please do me a favor and leave a brief comment even the smallest of comment helps a lot um, the folks that push that thumbs up button leave a, com a comment you guys are the best because the that actually helps the algorithm of YouTube show these videos to more people and um, since you know my intention is to never make money on um, these videos my my whole intention here is to help other traders do a better job with their preparation for the day and um, hopefully you will find that useful as well um, also please feel free to pass this video on click uh, Click that share button and save it, uh, share it over on Facebook, share it on Twitter, wherever you might um, want to share that information and help us spread the word, um, trying to do a better job of preparation in the market. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that you may want to be keeping an eye on. And we're going to look at stocks that could go both directions. First off, let's take a look at... Um, more of a defensive um, looking stocks. Let's take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo moved up on Friday very, very strongly. And you can see PepsiCo is up several days in a row. Now, I don't think I would chase this trade, but one of the places you can go in the market starts getting a little bit um, spooky is toward those defensive stocks. Um, that's where folks will go for a little bit of relative safety and, and collect that dividend yield. So take a look at PepsiCo. Any rest or pullback in here may be an opportunity for a trade, but it certainly should be on your list. You could also take a look at Coke. Now Coke has been in a downtrend and you can see on Friday a nice bullish engulfing candle here trying to break that downtrend i would watch this one here if that can hold above uh, that downtrend and start moving forward coke could be one of those that comes back a little bit when the market is a little bit spooky take a look at stocks like uh, verizon uh, Verizon big move yesterday again more of that defensive type company where folks are after this big dividend yield and a little bit of relative safety in the market you could also look at AT&T AT&T getting a little bit of a rally starting to hold that trend in here looking 
I'm relatively good here um, overall. So might want to keep an eye on stocks like that. Another place you might go is like Procter & Gamble. You can see Procter & Gamble tried to sell off strongly on Friday only to recover dramatically. Any follow through to the upside might be a good opportunity there for Procter & Gamble. Now there's also stocks out there that are uh, concerns. I've been kind of keeping an eye on BABA for a potential move higher um, out of this little pop out of the box pattern. But unfortunately, BABA is starting to look a bit on the bearish side. And you can see it looks like we're gapping down this morning here on BABA. This might be an opportunity for a short trade, something you might want to keep keep an eye on um, as we move forward. A couple of stocks that I want to keep on the list, but I'm not real sure what's going to happen here. As you can see, we had a really big pop on Thursday here in STX and gave back almost all of that on Friday. We'll want to watch this here in this trend to see if we can hold this trend, possibly rally higher. No, there's no buy here. Uh, just yet we want to watch and wait for that uh, potential entry but this could also signal a full-on reverse here so we'll want to watch this there's maybe an opportunity here for a short trade if that gets that full-on reversal um, in the chart and we saw that on a lot of places um, on Friday so kind of keep that in mind we saw a um, Home Depot rallying up and putting in this shooting star pattern so I, that would suggest a pullback now if we catch a little bit of a pullback that holds a price support or a higher low there may be an opportunity in there but we don't want to see this be this double top failure up here that just creates that new sell off. So we've got a lot of stocks that could go either direction that we need to watch very carefully uh, for those trades. Um, another short trade that could be setting up. This is a pattern that I call an Oreo cookie and that you know, you won't find that in any books, but that Oreo cookie um, is a black candle. Uh, white middle and a black candle um, on the other side. Um, those tend to lead a stock lower. So watch that pattern. This is breaking um, its uptrend and that bearish pattern right there I think could move uh, dish lower. So you might want to keep an eye on that. So with that everyone, hey I want to wish you all kinds of success in your trading. I know it's a little bit sketchy, a little bit um, uh, difficult right now um, in the market with the big swings. And, and, and once again, I want to suggest if you're struggling as a trader, this might be a time to just sit back a little bit, watch the price action, study the price action. Don't get too involved in this because this is the kind of market that could really whip hard and, and really be damaging to your account. So maybe, you know, turn on your paper trade account, do a little practicing, focus on that price action and study don't give up but just remember there are times when it might be wise to step aside remember one of the major tasks of any trader is to protect your capital which means there are days where you probably shouldn't trade you should just protect your capital rather than jumping into the fray so with that everyone have a great day we'll talk to you all bright and early tuesday morning i wish you all the very best